Hi everyone, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music. Welcome to part 5, the last part in this series on how you can make a rather boring major scale pattern a lot more interesting. So we've done uh, how you can add the timing of one note, making it a lot more interesting and rememberable. We've looked at accents using things like triplets and quintuplets where you divide the set by five or by three. Then we've looked at swing, a very important jazz and blues performance methodology. Then we've looked at the all important clave. We've looked at the song clave and a few others in part four. And now it's just pretty much an open playing field in this part where what I'm proposing for you all to do is you take a beat of music, right? And divide that beat because any beat with, with the concept of time can be subdivided into endless amounts, right? Using just simple maths. We musicians tend to focus on division by two or three or four. If you divide by two, it'll be one and two and three and four and you divide by three, one and a two and a three and a four and a, so those are the, the mnemonics we use. You divide by four, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So essentially the speed of each beat remains the same speed, whatever the tempo was, maybe it's 80 BPM or 60 BPM, while the division makes more options exist because you can pretty much divide time by anything. So if you take one beat in a time field, as I call it, so let's say you're dividing by four, and you go 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a, and you observe one of those beats, you don't have to play 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1E and... This feels a bit too cluttered up. There's like too much happening. It's not very musical. So, you know, as the great Mozart said, music is the silence between the notes. So let's put some silence. You can do 1E could be silent, 1E and a the and -er could be hit. So, 1E and a 2E and ta da 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 ta da da Feels like a kind of a ta da 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 ta da ta da ta Feels like one of those Cartoon Network shows, right? Like a gallop, like some horse is moving, you know, forward. It's like nice music for a horse, I guess. ta da da ta da da ta da ta da ta da ta da So, if you imagine that and vocalize it, perhaps, it's like a play, a don't play and two plays in the space of one beat. So it'll be ta ta da da ta da da. Maybe start with just one note. Right? You could call this the gallop and you go You'll find it weirdly way more challenging than doing, you know, just shredding the uh, major scale up and down. In fact, I can sort of showing off right now that I can talk to you people while playing that particular thing. But it's actually brainless. There is no brain involved. It's just mechanics, you know. So when you have to just remove one sub beat, one little beat from the uh, bigger beat, from the main beat, it really plays with your mind and it really forces you to practice and respect time, which is very important for rhythm. So you go, bum, ba, ba, bum. you'll have to slow it down. Now, what if I combine the gallop with just something very mundane and normal, like tum pa ra rum pum pum pa ra rum pum What did I do now? 1E and a 2E and a. So 2E and a, I just didn't do the E's and the E's, making it less energetic. And it's just the main beat and the half beat, at halfway point beat. pum pa ra rum pum pa ra ra rum pa cha ra ra rum pum You'll observe one thing very cool. Even though it may be easier to play, it's a lot more interesting to hear, right? If you, if you try playing this for your friend or someone at home, I'm sure they like this a lot more. With some chords. So 
so it's just automatically a way to make melodies or you it's like a universal set of options where you go up and down the entire scale so a melody for all we know has a lot of rhythm going on for it and you just have to possibly not go all the way up and all the way down create a few sub variations or smaller subset movements and you may like what you play and you could use it in a song i hope okay and that was about the division by 4 time feel you could also do over the divide by 3 time feel which is a triplet so instead of doing one triplet one triplet one which we did in part number 2 if you followed right hopefully you guys have watched all the four parts it'll be nice if you have coming then to this part which sort of concludes it uh, if you haven't already do check out all the links in the description with triplets what can we do we can do something like da 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 you have all these different interplays of uh, triplet permutations and again you hold your shape you don't you don't alter the motion as ascending and descending you know as opposed to what you may be wanting to do now you may be wanting to have more fun melodically but the fun of this exercise or the challenge of this exercise is to hold your melodic ordering while adding the flavor of rhythm to the entire equation and thus really conditioning your ear and hopefully improving your rhythmic theory and also improving your technique because you'll have to really think with which which finger you're playing it's no longer a mechanical pattern so to speak so something like right i quite like just playing with triplets you know and improvise and see where it goes so in a sense there is a lot of improvisation going on it's just that there's no improvisation of notes because the note choices are, are fixed there's a ton of rhythmic improvisation going on here so that's another very important thing i wanted to convey in this series that improvisation is not about only the chord tones or the modes or the fancy uh, tensions and jazz embellishments and stuff it's just also about rhythm in fact rhythm is the foundation of it all so you saw what we did we went from which cannot be used for anything anything musical to something like right everyone hope you found our five part tutorial series interesting if you did please share the video and our channel with all your musician friends turn on that bell for notifications whenever we release a new video or perhaps a riff do stay in touch with our music school we have a lot of short term courses which are for one month we have these occasional workshops we do a lot of youtube live and uh, we also have very long drawn you know very detailed courses at at nathaniel school of music so i'd love to welcome all of you on board and uh, see you soon cheers